Can you hear that rain? It has been raining. Oh no, it's coming in the garage. I'm gonna get What is this? I'm gonna need a mop. It's raining big time out here. You hear it? Look at that. Not good. Not good. Especially with my drum kit, my guitars, bass sun. But anyway, it's hot in here, nice, hot, and humid in my garage. I have no AC, so it's a little steamy. And now it's even more humidity in here now that I've got water coming in my garage because it hasn't stopped raining in two days, two days straight. No fishing today, but you know, I was sitting here thinking as I was charging my battery, how many people have your battery chargers installed on your boat? Like mounted to the back of your boat on the inside so all you have to do is like plug your cord up and then your battery start charging. How many? Raise your hand. In the comments, do the raise your hand emoji. I don't. If you've had a battery charger, like an onboard charger before, you know that you've went through a few, okay? I know I've probably owned probably six or seven. The thing is they don't last, okay? They don't last, especially when it's in your boat. They get beat, banged around. They get wet, they get abused in the back of your boat. My deal is, why wouldn't you just leave it out of your boat and then rig something up and then charge it that way? And if you travel somewhere, just put it in the back of your truck, right? That's what I do. So I've got a battery charger that's external, that's made to be internal. It's an onboard battery charger, but I use it as a external battery charger. I don't mount it to the boat. I, I feel like that they last a lot longer. Although I've had this one for a couple years, my other battery charger went with my Ranger when I sold it. You know, I gave him the battery charger, you know, so he can charge his batteries, whatever. Like comes with the boat type deal. I've had this Minn Kota three bank battery charger, which only used one of the banks for two years. And it's, it's worked really good. They make like different chargers out there you know, like they make the real big heavy duty chargers. They make like a pro source or pro battery or something like that. Charger, they make cheaper ones. I've always liked the Minn Kota ones. This one has been pretty good and it charges really fast. I'm running one battery on my Jumbo. All right, I'm running one battery that runs my trolling motor, both my Garmin units, lights, and a radio. You know, my Garmin unit, it tells me the voltage and it never gets below 12 volts. Now I got this battery last year or earlier this year. I think I, I think I did a video, I did a top speed video part two and took all my batteries out and I was gonna go with lithiums thinking that they would make my boat a little bit faster, but they didn't. I didn't have any batteries in the back and it didn't make my boat faster at all. It was, it was the same, it's crazy. But I think it's more of a weight transfer type deal, physics, you know, math. I just went ahead and stuck one battery in there just to see if it would run all my stuff. And that interstate battery runs it great. It's not a lithium, it's a straight up interstate deep cycle battery that runs everything. It's a SRM27 is the name of this battery. You know, it weighs probably 60 pounds, something like that, but it's been good to me. I can't complain. I know some people don't like interstates. Some people do, um, but whatever. So that's the only battery that I have to charge. And, and I'm just gonna show you the way that I have my external charger, which is right there set up. It's charging right now. I do have a full charge, but let me take it off and show you what I'm talking about. So right here is my Minn Kota three bank uh, onboard battery charger. It's a MK315D. This is a three bank. Like I said, I only use one bank on this. I've got two, I got them zip tied up right here. Don't use them, but I've got this one that goes to my interstate right there. And it's already charged up. So let me go ahead and unplug this so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about here. All I did on these, they come with those kind of terminals where you just put it on the post and, and the nut goes over top of it and tightens it down. So I took these and I just clipped them off. I just bought a cheap pair of these uh, battery clamps or terminal cape clamps, whatever they're called. So yeah, that's pretty much how I charge my battery, my one battery, on my John boat. And I just thought I would share it with you just in case 
uh, if you wanted to do it. It's real easy to do. 10 bucks at Advance Auto or Harbor Freight or something like that. Get you some of these, these little clamps like this. You could use heat shrink tubing as well to put it on there. Hink shrink it, then, you know, electrical tape, put the collar back over it and you're good to go. They work fine, haven't had any problems with them. Super easy, come in, put them on the terminals, plug it in, and charge your freaking batteries just like that. Where's my spit belt? If you have any suggestions or you do it a different way, you charge your batteries a different way, you use something else, something that nobody else knows about, comment it down below. You got any ideas uh, for me? I don't know what else you could do to help me charge my batteries, but I think I got it kind of figured out. Comment down below. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button because it helps me out and it helps you out to see more videos that I make. Catch me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, learned, I did learn on Pinterest how to cut my own hair. I got that fade. Look at that fade, boy. All red, back around the neck. Look at that. Even. Somebody's like, how'd you cut your hair so even? I'm like, with the mirror, something. With the mirror. If you're hungover the next morning, don't try and cut your hair. Catch you on the flip flop. Yeah.